you're looking to use the Avada contact form on your website to collect contact form submissions, then this video should be really helpful for you. I'm going to show you how to set up an Avada contact form, uh, a couple of different cool things you can do with it. So let's jump in. Um, first of all, when you're in the back end of your WordPress website and you have the Avada theme installed, there's going to be an Avada section over here on the left. And if you click Options, then you'll see all these different options here. You can also just get to it by clicking Forms here. Uh, but you can also click Forms and Form Entries. So Form Entries is where you'll collect the different contact form submissions. And so you'll be able to see those here. Uh, but first, we need to create a form so that we can actually collect some form submissions or form entries, whatever we want to call them. So first thing is, you'll see this box right here. You'll need to name the form. So we'll just do contact us. Click create new form. And then you'll just come over to the Avada Builder here. Click this new section and you'll have all sorts of different form fields that you can add here. So let's say we want to add in, obviously we want to collect an email. So we'll call this email or we'll just call it email. So there's a field label and a field name. It's actually going to auto generate the field name. The field label is what the user will be able to see and then the label is what comes through uh, the back end when somebody submits and then you can choose whether it's required or not so for this one we want the email to be required we can set placeholder text and even give it like an email icon if we want and then we'll click save so that's going to be the email field and then from there we can do maybe a text area, a text field. So we'll put name and we'll require that people submit their name as well. And then we can reorganize these so we can drag them and drop them around. So I like to do name and then email and maybe we'll also add phone number as well. So we'll save those and then we'll add a submit button you can uh, change the the, uh, the name of the button, essentially the text that shows up in the button, the button field, so that's the button text here. And you can change the alignment. Um, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do with the design. So we're just gonna leave this all as is for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and click update. So then that's going to create the actual form for us. And then there are some different settings down here, like you can choose the label position, some different coloring, some styling stuff down here. Um, we're going to have it saved to the database so that we have in the form entries that I just showed you earlier, it's going to take all of the submissions and log them in there so that we can go back and look at them. Uh, at any point if we want. And then for the confirmation page, you can set it to redirect to a URL. So you could do like the thank you page, forward slash thank dash you. And uh, you can store the user's IP. There's some different stuff you can do with that. And then you can also export and import these different forms. So now that we have the contact us form set up, I'm actually using a different form builder. This is Formidable, which I like to use as well, just kind of personal preference. So I'm going to edit this page. I'm going to show you what this new form looks like. So when we're editing the Contact Us page, we'll click Element, and then we'll type Form, and then we'll see the Avada form show up. And then we only have one form, so we can click the Contact Us. If you have multiple forms, you can do a search to find the form that you want. You can set some different styling and stuff like that. And then we'll click Save. I'm just going to get rid of that other form. And then we'll preview this so you can see what this new form actually looks like.
So we can see that it has the actual icons here. Uh, the field is showing up blue. I think that's just the way that the theme was set up originally. Um, so we can change that down here. The field background color. So for instance, we could set that to white. Click update. And then we can go back and preview this again. And we'll see that the background here has been changed to white. But now we can't see anything. So now we'll need to have the border. So we'll just set this to one pixel. And then we'll set the border color to like a light gray. And then we'll click update on that. And then we can come back and view this again. And it should look better now. Yep. So now it looks like a standard form. It's got the asterisks on the fields that are required. And so that's basically it. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to add a color when, when you hover over it. But again, you just go back, find, uh, find the settings here, change them so that the styling is the way you want. And then you make sure to save this page, click update. And then your form's going to be there when somebody fills it out. You'll be able to see the forms, the form entries here. Under form entries, it'll log them all here. And that's the basics of setting up the contact, the Avada contact form. So if there's anything you have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.